As many of you probably know, uh, Alice Chalmers has had a long history in agriculture. Uh, it formed in 1901, one year after the turn of the century. Look at that. Uh, uh, it was formed as a merger of two other countries. Can't remember their names off the top of my head, but yeah, it's been in agriculture basically since the uh, turn of the 18th century, 1901. So, been around since 1901. How long did it take a uh, articulated four-wheel drive tractor to be produced in that pretty orange? Well, 1973, and in 1973, that tractor would be the Alice Chalmers 440. Produced from 73 to 77, uh, came in at 218 horsepower at the engine and 165 at the drawbar. And according to TractorData.com, it could pull a 7 or 8 bottom plow. So there's just a little over a thousand built, so I wouldn't say it was hugely successful or popular, but it was definitely far from a bust. Uh, so some of you are probably saying, wow, that, that hunk of metal, that, that Alice Chalmers kind of looks like a Steiger. And you would be correct because it was actually manufactured by Steiger and Fargo. Uh, yeah, so it really is a Steiger. Uh, it just has that pretty orange sheet metal on the side, I guess, if you... I, lo I think it's a pretty color, but you never know. Personal opinion, but... Uh, yeah, someone could probably tell you for sure, but to me, it off looks off a lot like a Bearcat 1 or 2. Uh, probably more of a 1 than a 2, but... But yeah, it was actually produced by Steiger. So, I guess it's a gray area whether you could say it's truly the first Alice Chalmers, because it was, since it wasn't actually manufactured by them, but for this video, we, said, we will say it is. Uh, what is some competition that would have uh, would have gone up against this? Well, to begin with, the Versatile 700. Uh, this began in production uh, one year before the Alice Chalmers. Uh, same horsepower, pretty much 220 at the engine, 160 at the drawbar. Similar price. Uh, final year of production was the same, 1977. Uh, similar, another similar competitor would be the. Uh, John Deere 7520. It was only produced four years, 1972 to 1975. Similar horsepower, uh, 160 at the drawbar. So, yeah, we're looking at pretty much the same within a couple. Uh, and it, I have to believe its uh, production was cut short when they came out, John Deere, as in they, came out with the 8430 and the 8630. So, uh... If we were in the market for one of these Alice Chalmers 440s, what would have we paid in uh, back in 1973? Well, we would have paid seven. Oh, excuse me, thirty-eight thousand one hundred and seventy-nine dollars. So, got any guesses of what that would be if we bought that today? Well, uh, let's look. September is the last last month they had uh, had data for this, but. If we bought it in January of 73 at $38,179, today it would come out to be $221,204. So just a little over $221,000. And uh, let's say we wanted to buy one today in today's dollars in a used condition. And, well, there are a couple listed. Uh, let's see, you can get... A rougher one for more of a bottom dollar budget, I guess you could say. Uh, let's see, what else is there? There is also a one that has a rebuilt motor for 19000 So, But it's sat for the past couple years, but they are available. Uh, I've seen restored ones, uh, but... Doesn't look like there's any for on a Tractor House at this time, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you got any other ideas for videos. It's been a while since I put this together, so please forgive any errors. Or, uh, but uh, I, I do this for fun, so just uh, if I miss any information, don't be afraid to tell me. Thanks.